Coming up on First at Four, weather may have been a factor in a woman's death in Laurel County. Police are conducting a death investigation. And community members honor the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. here in Hazard. Not one, not two, but three chances for some snow this week. Those details now on First at Four. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News First at Four. Good afternoon, I'm Steve Hensley. First at four, a death investigation is underway in southern Kentucky after a 72-year-old woman was found dead outside her home. The discovery was made late Sunday morning. WIMT's Phil Pendleton spoke to police about why weather may have played a role in what happened to her. I am told that Glenda Smith lived here alone. This is the end of Fisherman Island Road in a very rural part of Laurel County. This is a lakeside community, a part of the county where not a lot of people live during this time of the year, as many of these are summer homes. A driver going past on Sunday morning noticed the woman's body in her driveway. Police say they called 911 and emergency officials and the coroner's office were called. Glenda Smith was pronounced dead and police opened a death investigation. There would have been some ice and snow in her driveway and the temperatures would have been well below freezing when she went outside. Police say it's possible she could have fallen when she was trying to get in her car. Police say the local road department was called out to the Fisherman Island Road area, which is a hilly, curvy and narrow roadway leading to Woods Creek Lake. Police say an autopsy was scheduled for Monday. Right, she did. She had a, a cut to her head and she had some scratches on her uh, and it's, it's thought that she may have taken a fall. We're not sure at this point. Again, Glenda Smith did have a head injury, but police say they don't think that head injury would have caused a serious injury or even death in Laurel County. Phil Pendleton, now back to you. Neighbors say they tried to check on the woman often because they did not think she had many relatives living nearby. Well, the weather pattern looks active for this week and snow lovers probably going to be a little excited when they see what we could be dealing with for the work week and even into the weekend. Let's take a look first at pinpoint Doppler because after a very active weekend, we are clear for once and it's not only on pinpoint Doppler, but on satellite and radar as well. Partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies. The big story and I think that continues for us. Look out to the western part of the state though. They are under cloud cover and actually a little bit warmer due to some of those southwesterly winds where it's 28 in Paducah, 27 in Clarksville, Tennessee and 29 in Bowling Green. Bring it closer to home. It's those upper teens to lower 20s. Your what are topics as we look ahead? Well, what we'll have talking about is a slight warm up with a cold snap midweek. That cold snap is followed by not one, not two, but like we said, three snow chances for Easter Kentucky. We will have a full look at that forecast and uh, break down that first system, Steve, coming up at 416. All right. Thank you, Andrew. Known for his fight during the civil rights movement, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. is being honored today by many who remember his dream and hope for peace and equality. Today, Hazard Community and Technical College celebrated his life at its annual celebration, the Unity Community Breakfast, followed by a march through downtown Hazard. WIMT's Taylor Upchurch was there and joins us from the newsroom with more. Taylor. Steve, today people exercised their freedom of speaking freely this morning at HCTC and of course enjoyed a hearty breakfast as they remembered the life of Martin Luther King Jr. But organizers say they never once forgot it was only possible because of the marches of the past. And though King was shot and killed in April of 1968, the legacy he left behind still reminds generations young and old of the progress made and the steps not yet taken. Guest speakers shared personal stories of family members who lived through segregation, and men, women, and children marched in honor of what King stood for, and most importantly, hoped for, which is unity. 
You know, it's cold and I know a lot of people didn't show up today because it's cold, but nobody's training fire hoses on us. Nobody's attacking us with dogs. I think so often we take it for granted, the privileges that we have, especially people who look like me. I've never had to really even work that hard for anything. It's been given to me simply on the basis of who I am and the way I was born. And that's not true for everybody in this country. And I think it's important that we remember that. Organizers say more than 170 people came out to honor Martin Luther King this morning at the Unity Community Breakfast. Steve. All right, thank you very much, Taylor. Martin Luther King III says the country is in chaos. The son of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and his family took part in events at the Washington National Cathedral yesterday. Dr. King gave a Sunday sermon there on March 31st, 1968, the last Sunday sermon of his life. He was fatally shot days later in Memphis. Half a century since that fateful day, his son says the country is still facing some major problems. Ask the question, where are we in relationship to realizing the dream? We are more divided right now than we, were, we have been in a long time. King also said the country has to do better with the immigration crisis at the border. This year's Martin Luther King Jr. holiday is also the 31st day of the partial government shutdown. At events marking the day, Democrats bashed the shutdown while President Trump tweeted his frustration with them. CBS's Nicole Killian is at the White House where the president is back after a brief visit to the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial. Around the country on Martin Luther King Jr. Day, Democrats continue to blame the president for the ongoing partial government shutdown, now at day 31. He is now holding the American people hostage over a vanity project that he calls a wall. Freedom, equality, not a divisive wall. Over the weekend, President Trump offered a proposal to end the impasse. His deal includes a three-year extension for the Dreamers and recipients of temporary protected status in exchange for $5.7 billion to build a border wall. Democrats have already rejected it. Morning. Today, the president made a brief visit to the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial in Washington, where he laid a wreath and ignored questions from the media about the shutdown. Come and talk about the shutdown at all. Anything to say about Democrats rejecting your deal? President Trump has been active on Twitter, praising the economy and calling federal workers patriots. About 800,000 have been working without pay or furloughed for a month. Many of those federal workers are turning to food banks. TSA callouts hit 10% of its workforce Sunday, leading to lane closures at some airports. Those impacted by the shutdown will miss a second full paycheck if the government is not reopened soon. Nicole Killian, CBS News, the White House. Congress will be back at work tomorrow after both chambers canceled the planned Martin Luther King Jr. holiday break. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell plans to offer legislation based on the president's deal tomorrow. Senator Kamala Harris, who you saw in that last story, says she is running for president in 2020. The California Democrat says she plans to fight what she sees as the injustices of the Trump presidency. She made the announcement on Good Morning America. Harris's campaign released a brief video on social media as well. Her official campaign kickoff will take place next Sunday in Oakland, where she was born. There is a push for hate crime legislation in Indiana. That is one of the five states without any sort of legislation in that area. The FBI reports hate crimes have increased greatly during the past few years. That is why supporters say it is important to get these laws on the books. So I think that, you know, having something like this gives me the confidence to know that I have my community and my state behind me. The state's governor, Eric Holcomb, says he supports the hate crime legislation. An Alabama police officer is dead after a confrontation with a suspect over the weekend. According to the Mobile Police Department, Officer Sean Tudor was doing follow-up work on an investigation yesterday when he was shot and killed. The department's website says the 30-year-old officer joined Mobile Police in 2016. The following year, he was honored as July's Officer of the Month. Tudor is the fifth U.S. police officer to be shot and killed in the line of duty so far this year. Straight ahead on First at Four, we're not the only ones experiencing these frigid temperatures. Just ahead, more on the deadly winter storm that swept across the Midwest and Northeast. And those snow chances continue as we head into the forecast. We'll break down what the models say and what we could expect 
for the next couple of days. The latest additions to Kentucky Lottery's team are looking to multiply the winnings. No doubt. There's five times the cash, 10 times, as well as 20 times and 50 times the cash. And 100 times the cash with a top prize of $1 million. Put a little more play in your day with these new scratch-off games. Search has drastically improved over the years, making business lookups specific to locale. If you have your business's website, social media, and local directories properly set up, you put yourself at a huge advantage in your market, an advantage you can capitalize on with Local X. Local X is a full-service digital agency dedicated to local business. Together, we will maximize the growth of your organization in your community. Local X, your local digital marketing experts. Go online at localxmarketing.com. Around here, when winter rolls around, you never know what Mother Nature's going to throw at you. But for generations now, you can always count on low prices at Food City. This week, save on Food City Fresh Lean Ground Chuck. $2.99 per pound. Fresh strawberries or blueberries. Buy one, get one free. Holly Farms Boneless Chicken Breast. $1.99 per pound and more. Only at Food City. Thank you.